Hello everyone, welcome to the review of the Valterra Silverback 10-foot uh, RV sewer extension hose. The unit allows you to drain your black water and your gray water tanks at a dump station. When fully extended, the unit measures 10 feet in length. When fully collapsed, the unit measures 38 inches in length. The unit allows you to drain your black water and your gray water tanks at a dump station. The unit also allows you to add 10 feet of RV sewer hose to the length that you already have. For example, you have 20 foot of RV sewer hose, and that's still not enough to get to your black water and your gray water tank valve outlet. Now, this unit will allow you to expand and retract. The unit allows you to expand and retract. Now, one of the greater things about this hose here, when fully extended, this unit is gonna measure 10 feet in length. Now, if you look here, you're gonna see that this hose is made of a 24 mil polypropylene construction with 100 mil protective beading. The unit allows you to add on, the unit will allow you to add on to your black water and your gray water tank setup. This unit allows you, uh, when you're fully extending it, basically it allows, you to, uh, it allows you to put it in a shape where it can hold its shape in. For example, you can bend it, you can stretch it, bend it. Now watch this. You can basically bend it a certain opposite direction if you bend it in a certain direction. Basically what will happen here is it will hold its shape. It will hold true to that shape, okay? It will hold true to that shape, okay? Because it doesn't have a lot of give in it, all right? Now if you look here, the unit is going to have two fittings, which are going to be your lug fitting and your bayonet fitting. Now the lug fitting at this end is going to be the hub end of the unit. You're also going to have the bayonet fitting end of the unit, which is going to allow you to connect to the waste valve outlet on the RV or camper. The unit allows you to expand and retract. Now if you look here, the lug fitting here is going to contain a four pin a four pin connection. The four pin connection is designed to fit at the hub end of the unit. Okay, if you guys look here, this is the four pin connection. Okay, you're also going to have the uh, bayonet fitting, which is going to allow you to connect to the RV sewer hose itself. In our next video, in our next video that we're gonna be doing, which is probably gonna be sometime next week after the after this busy weekend on Mother's Day, we're gonna show you how the we're gonna show you the difference between each RV sewer hose, and I hope you guys understand that as well, okay? And I hope you guys understand that fully, completely as well, and comprehensive. All right. Now, if you look here on the RV sewer hose itself, the unit is gonna be made of a durable 24 mil polypropylene construction. And the unit is also going to be, is also going to have a 100 mil protective beading on the hose. Again, the unit will allow you to expand and retract. Okay, this unit is going to allow you to expand and retract. The unit is also crush proof, so when your child comes and runs and step comes runs over and steps on it, the child can basically run over and step on it, and this hose will not crush. This hose will fully extend back to its fully, it will fully go back into its full circle, even though the hose has been crushed on and stepped on so many times. Now, if you look here, this unit is gonna have a helix design. The helix design, now what I mean by that is the helix design here, you're gonna see that it's gonna have a smooth bore on the inside of the hose. If you look here, there's the 100 mil protective beading with the polypropylene construction on the outside of the hose. Now that's what you're going to see on this typical sewer hose, all right? The next thing I want us to take a look at here is that with the uh, silverback, you're going to see that you're going to also have a bayonet fitting, which is also going to be the hub, the mouth end of the unit. Now, if you look here, this right here, we're about to take a look at the mouth end of the unit, okay? Now, the mouth end of the unit is going to have a bayonet fitting that allows you to have a very sturdy connection to the RV or dump station. 
Now I'm gonna show you guys the Helix design real quick. Now, if you look here, the Helix design is on the inside of the unit. Now as all the wastewater, as you pull your black water and gray water valve, all of the waste can flow freely through it. All of the wastewater can flow freely through it. Now, what's so different about this unit here is this unit is gonna have a rough bore because of the wrinkles that are in the unit. Now, if you look at the burrs inside the unit, now, you can tell that there's completely none in there, okay? But you're gonna see that the unit is gonna have an area to where you're going to have a couple more things there too, okay? So if you look there, there's the black internal seal to prevent the hose from leaking and dripping out when you're emptying out your black water and your gray water tanks. Now, uh, one of the greater things that I want you guys to see here, this unit will hold its shape even though, even though it's bent, okay? Let me show you what happens when you, when you do this, okay? So the hose can be fully bent. The hose can be fully bent, okay? The unit can be fully bent, all right? Now, what you're gonna see here is the unit allows you to hold its shape even though it's been fully bent, all right? Another example I can demonstrate here is this. See here, this unit can be fully bent, okay? You can see it can be fully bent into a shape where it can hold its shape down to a negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. This unit can be flexible down to a negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. What I mean by that is this unit, this unit, which is basically the daredevil of the silverback, now, this is, not, this is not a daredevil, but the king of all Valterra products is the Valterra Viper. Now, the Valterra Viper, um, the one I reviewed over a couple of days ago, it's going to have a stronger build, okay? It's going to have a stronger build, all right? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate how, show you how long this hose is when fully stretched out, okay? When fully stretched out, the unit is going to be about 10 feet in length like this, if you can tell, the unit is about 10 feet in length, but when fully collapsed, the unit is gonna measure 39 to 30, about 38 inches long, 38 inches long, which is also another good thing with the unit as well, okay? So if you look here, this is the unit fully extended, but when it's fully retracted, you're gonna get a length of up to about 38 inches long, okay, see right there? This is what it looks like, 38 inches, all right? That's what you're gonna see, 38 inches long, all right? Like I told you guys before, you're gonna have a helix design with this hose, with this hose, and that's what you're gonna get for an RV sewer hose that is gonna be known for the whole incoming wastewater that'll leave the camper at the dump station. Now. What I'm going to do here is retract the unit down to its length, the regular length, and I'm going to lay it on to the table. So before we leave one more time, before we leave, I'm going to show you guys the helical coil on the inside of the hose one more time so you guys can get an idea, get an idea of what it looks like. So look at the helical coil. Now the helical coil it's on the outside of the unit, but let me see. If I scoot my camera up some, if I scoot it up some, okay, there you go. I could fully extend the hose out to this one. I don't know if you guys could tell here. This is what the unit looks like when fully extended. On the inside of the hose, you're gonna see a smooth bore. The smooth bore allows for the sewage to flow freely, freely through it. All the wastewater that is trapped inside the unit will not stay in there. Now, the next thing I wanted you guys to understand here is that RV sewer hoses like the others out there, which are the Valterra Quick Drain, the Easy Coupler, and the, uh, and, and the uh, Valterra Dominator and the Rhino Flex, they're gonna have a wire core on the inside, okay? This one's gonna have a wire core on the outside, okay? 
Now, if you look here, that's what you're going to notice with each hose being like this, okay? The next hose that I hope to review over with y'all is the Thefford, is the uh, Valterra. Next part I'm looking forward to reviewing over with y'all is the uh, Camco 90 degree style elbow for tote tanks. We're going to talk about the tote tank adapter later. I'm also going to have the Valterra Viper two foot compartment hose out here with me to demonstrate that example. Okay. So now if you look at this hose here again, this hose when fully extended measures 10 feet in length, but when fully collapsed, the unit is going to measure about 38 inches long, 38, 38 inches long. Okay. So that means from this end, to this end, you're gonna have a lengthage, you're gonna have a length of up to 38 inches long. This is what it looks like when fully collapsed. You could tell here, as I back out of the camera a little bit, you could tell this is what the unit looks like when fully extended. But when fully, now this is not fully extended, but when fully retracted, this is what this unit will look like. It'll look like 38 inches in length. So there you go. That is going to do it for today's look at the Valterra Silverback 10-foot extension hose. Have a great day.